happy day students today is class 11 in the last class we derived what is the velocity of sound in the medium it came out to be root over beta by rho the b beta is bulk modulus and rho is density of the medium okay in the last class also we calculated what is the uh, pressure amplitude in a pressure wave which was beta a q okay so these were the important expressions that we got in our last class now this bulk modulus which is normally used for the gases and liquids that basically is written as minus of dp by dv by v okay when we talk about velocity of sound which is longitudinal wave or pressure wave also there are two theories normally that we study what are those two theories those two theories first one is newton's theory newton's theory is newton's theory newton's theory says the passage of sound energy through the air is is uh, isothermal process okay passage of sound passage of sound energy to air is isothermal process the isothermal process means temperature is constant okay an isothermal process we normally write as pv equal to constant this is the equation of isothermal process pv equal to constant okay now if pv is constant and velocity is given to us as root over beta by rho what we can conclude from here so what we can conclude from here is because beta value is minus dp by dv by v that value we can find from here also beta value which is minus dp by dv by v okay we can find from here also what we can do this process we can differentiate differentiate with respect to volume or pressure that's your wish okay we can differentiate with respect to anything i am differentiating with respect to volume so this is one variable this is other variable both are changing so we are going to apply u into v so p differentiation of v plus v differentiation of u equal to differentiation of constant which is zero so what's going to come let's see so differentiation of v with respect to v means one so p and this one i am taking that side minus v dp by dv now if you take this one and this one both are same that means this we can write as beta so beta value actually is pressure which pressure atmospheric pressure so according to newton velocity of sound when it passes through the air is actually equal to atmospheric pressure by density of air Now if we keep the atmospheric pressure value here, which is 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square, by density of air, which is 1.29 kg per meter cube. After calculation, the speed comes out nearly 279 meter per second, which is very far from what is the speed found during experimentations. Experimentation says it's nearly 330 meter per second. so newton's theory could not conclude it to that point so then there was a correction in that one that correction is called laplace correction okay so what laplace said laplace said that passage of sound energy through air is adiabatic process laplace correction passage of sound energy through air is an adiabatic process 
okay so what is adiabatic process equation this is pv to the power gamma equal to constant what is this gamma gamma is adiabatic coefficient and its value is cp by cv now what is cp specific heat at constant pressure cv specific heat at constant volume okay so gamma value is cp by c adiabatic process pv to the power gamma equal to constant now in this process also you would like to find beta value okay so again we are going to differentiate this with respect to volume let's see pv to the power gamma equal to constant differentiating it with respect to volume what's going to come let's check again u into v p differentiation of v to the power gamma plus v to the power gamma differentiation of t equal to differentiation of constant which is zero so what's going to come over here v to the power gamma it will be gamma v to the power gamma minus 1 take this one that side minus v to the power gamma dp by d now bring this v over here gamma p here minus v to the power gamma by v to the power gamma minus 1 dp by d okay further the next process next step minus v to the power gamma take this one up so minus of gamma minus 1 dp by d now see what's coming here gamma minus gamma plus 1 so it becomes minus v dp by db and what is this minus v dp by db it is beta okay so this is beta and what is on the left side you can see it's gamma p so beta value for an adiabatic process is coming as gamma p okay so then velocity of sound in air will be what v equal to root over beta by rho and beta value is gamma p here so v equal to gamma p by rho okay let's put the value for air now air is diatomic gas air is a diatomic gas so for diatomic gas gamma value is 7 by 5 okay for diatomic for monoatomic it's 5 by 3 for polyatomic it's 4 by 3. but for air it is diatomic that is 7 by 5 why air is diatomic because 98% of air is actually diatomic only nitrogen and oxygen okay so let's put gamma value over here which is 7 by 5 means 1.4 into p 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 by 1.29 square root when you calculate this this comes out to be 331 meter per second which is very close to the experimentally found value okay so we give valid validation to this theory what is that theory laplace theory okay because newton's theory could not prove it so we take this theory as our theory and we calculate velocity of sound through this one So let us continue with this one. This is the velocity of sound, which is gamma p by rho. Now we know that this rho we can write as mass by volume. This is volume. This volume we can take up. So gamma p v by m. Okay. And according to ideal gas equation, p v we can write in terms of temperature as n r t. where n is number of moles of the gas r is universal gas constant and t is the temperature so if we are going to put it over here n r t by m and in the next step it's gamma r t by m by n okay number of moles number of moles actually is mass of gas by molecular mass of the gas mass of the gas given mass of the gas by molecular mass of the gas is called number of moles okay so it means molecular mass of the gas is mass of the gas by number of moles molecular mass is mass of the gas by number of molecules which we are having here so in place of this i can write molecular mass of the gas that means this can be written like this okay so this is a very important formula for velocity of sound other than this okay 
both formulas are very very important. So from here you can see that velocity of the sound is directly proportional to square root of temperature. Okay. Let us discuss about what are the various factors on which this velocity of sound depends. Let us see first the factors on which velocity of sound depends. Factors affecting velocity of sound. Okay. Now let us have this formula which is gamma p by rho. The first factor I am saying is pressure. So if pressure is changed, will the velocity change? Okay. So the answer is no. When pressure is increased, at the same time density also get increased. When pressure is getting increased, density also increased. We can see over here, we know that PV equal to M by MRT. That is PV equal to NRT, gas equation. P equal to M by rho RT by M. M by rho RT by, sorry, M by V. M by V RT by M. Now, this M by V we can write as rho. So, this P equal to rho RT by M. Okay. So, P by rho equal to RT by M. So, if we are going to change pressure alone and we are not going to change the temperature. If temperature remains constant, then R is constant and molecular mass of the gas is also constant. That means P by rho, this ratio is actually constant. So, if you are going to increase pressure, density also increases. So, that the ratio always is constant. Okay. So, only by changing pressure, we cannot change speed of sound. Okay. Same way, if you are going to change only density, we cannot change speed of sound. Okay. Third factor on which it depends heavily is temperature. We know it. Okay. It depends on temperature. If you increase the temperature, speed is going to increase because we know V is directly proportional to square root of temperature as another formula for this is gamma R T by M. Okay, in this gamma constant, R constant, M constant, variable is only T. Okay, so it depends on T, it does not depend on pressure, it does not depend on density. The fourth factor on which it depends is called humidity. Okay, the fourth factor is humidity. Now, if we are going to increase the humidity, the density of air is going to decrease without decreasing pressure. How? Because humidity means is water content in the air. If water content in the air is more, the air particle which contains the water will go down because it will become heavier and it will settle down on the ground. Whereas the air in suspension, air particle in suspension become less. So density of air particle in suspension is less now. So, the mass is less per unit volume. So, that is why the density decreases. If the density is decreasing, speed is going to increase because we did not decrease the pressure. Pressure is same only. Okay? Keeping pressure same, you can decrease the density by increasing humidity. Okay? If there is more content of dew in the atmosphere, the density of air decreases. Okay? So, with that one, speed of sound can be increased. Okay, so let us solve few questions based on this, whatever we have studied so far in sound. These are some very, very easy questions. The first question that I am writing here is, at what temperature speed of sound will be double will be double of its value at 0 degree centigrade. Okay. Now, when we are talking about this kind of a question, that means the medium is air only okay, in both the cases and 0 degree centigrade also air and at some other temperature that you are finding is also air only. Okay. So, we know V is directly proportional to 
directly proportional to square root of temperature. That means V1 by V2 is equal to root over T1 by T. Let's assume at 0 degree centigrade its velocity is V. So V. Then what you want V2 as? You want the velocity to be double. So that means you want 2V here. What is initial temperature given? 0. Shall I keep it 0 over here? Answer is no. You should keep it in Kelvin always. If you keep it 0, then what will be the answer? 0 only. So here what is the temperature? 273. And this temperature we are fine. This gets cancelled. Square 1 by 4 equal to 273 by T. Answer is T is equal to 273 into 4. Okay, that's 2, 1, 9. And what is going to come? 4, 3, just 12, 2, 1, 28, 129, 2 over here, 1092 Kelvin. Answer is 1092 Kelvin for this particular question. Okay, if the answer is in 70 degree centigrade, you are going to subtract 273 from this one. Okay, let's see another question.